Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's understand the preparation from alkenes using hydrogen halide. So the reaction is typically I have alkenes, then I use hydrogen halides. And what you get is Hello Alkanes. This is the reaction and this is electrophilic addition. You can write here electrophilic addition. I will explain you why it is electrophilic addition. It is alkene actually. So if you see something like this, right, double bond. So in this you add a hydrogen halide. So double bond breaks and addition happens here. So you get something like this H and then X. The typical reaction this is. And in this case, if you see my H plus and X minus, my electrophile is getting added. The first attack is by electrophile. Here it is H plus and X minus. If you see, this guy is the one which attacks first. And this follows Markovnikov rule. that the stable carbocations form. In this case, HI is fastest. We have seen HI is very reactive. And then here HF is slowest. Why? Because the fluorine, the bond length is less, right? It is difficult to break. HI bond length is more easy to break, right? Based on the size. Now let's see this reaction. For example, I have CH3, CH, double bond CH2. I react with HI. So what will happen if this bond will break? This can break either in this direction or this direction. If it breaks in this direction, let's see both the possibility. It breaks in this direction, it comes. So what will happen is CH3, CH, CH2. This will get minus, this will get plus, plus. And if it breaks in this direction, let's suppose this direction. So what will get? It will get CH3 minus and CH2. Correct. And as I told, the first guy to attack is H. So let's attach H plus here. So this will become CH3. Here also attach H plus. So it will become CH2. So out of these two, which one is more reactive? Uh, which one is more stable? Obviously this, right? Because this is secondary carbocation. Since this is more stable, this is the major product. Correct. So since this is more stable carbocation, so now here. We can add Br. This is my major product. Br minus. So this charge will go. Right? This will be minor. And this will be major product. Correct. So let's see the reaction mechanism actually here. So the reaction mechanism is pretty simple actually. So let's suppose I have CH3, CH double bond CH2. So I have got HBr. Br will get slightly negative charge as I told it slightly polar. This will get slightly positive charge. So this double bond will attack this H plus here. So with this, what you get is CH3, CH single bond, CH2, sorry, CH3 plus you get here, right? Because this will become a uh, no, stable carbocatania. This is what you will get, right? This will attack here. Correct. And then my Br minus will attack this one. Sorry. So this bond will break into positive and negative, right? So this will be negative and this will be positive. This is how it will break. And on this negative, my H plus will be attached. Right, so H plus will be attached, this will become CS3 and this negative charge will go. This is how it will break. This bond will break in this guy will be negative, this guy will be positive, and on this, this attach here and this becomes positive. Or you can assume this way this bond breaks, you will get CS3 here and you get H plus here. Why? Because this bond broke, right? This bond broke and this H got attached to this carbon and you got plus here. 
correct so this is what you will get and on this now br minus will get attached this is the reaction mechanism for this reaction and please note this is using markovnikov rule and we have seen that with hbr only with hbr if you use peroxide then we have anti markovnikov rule where you get this as the major product why because it it goes for free radical reaction we have seen the example just two or three slides back now let's talk about halogen addition so i have a alkene in this case if i have alkene if i want to add halogen if i add some halogen in presence of i have to do in the presence of ccl4 so what you get is one x here one x here this is what you get similarly if you want to add for example instead of i mean x can be anything chlorine chlorine bromine anything right one example i can take is i have ethene in this let me add bromine in presence of ccl4 i get pr br h h and the h this is what we got so let's see the reaction mechanism for this so i have this so in this case let me see this h h so bromine will break actually it has slightly positive and slightly negative charge so this bond will break and what you will form is this bromine will get attached here will get positive charge here so what you get here is c h2 c s2 pr with a positive charge and now this pr minus will attack here so what you get is c s2 pr c s2 that's what you get right similarly we can have one more reaction similar to this i have this cyclohexene in this if i add br in presence of ccl4 so you get this way so so you get bromine here and you get bromine this is 12 dibromocyclohexane correct 12 dibromo cyclohexene this is cyclohexene and this is also example of electrophilic addition because the first thing that is getting reacted is br plus so this electro philic addition reaction let's take some numericals now we'll write the product so in this case the moment you add hbr so since you are not using peroxide you follow markovnikov rule so which one is more stable carbocation this guy if it gets plus charge it is a more stable carbocation correct instead of this why because this carbon is secondary carbon right two carbon attached this is only primary carbon so this gets a plus charge that is better so that means the gets plus charge that in br will attack this guy so the product has to be c br h and c h3 this will be the product using a markovnikov rule also why because h plus br minus right h plus will first attack this guy so that you get the more stable carbocation and then br minus will attack the carbocation correct this is also electrophilic addition reaction let's see this again hcl so here also my first h will attack so h will attack this position or this position so if it attack this position you get more stable carbocation correct you'll get this carbocation and this carbon is secondary carbon if it attacks this carbon it will get this carbocation which is the primary carbocation so h will attack this carbon so that you get secondary carbocation 
So with this you get CH3, CH2, CH, Cl, CH3. Correct? Because H attacked this. So the intermediate product which you got in this was let me write here. CH3, CH, CH, carbocation and CH3. That is the intermediate product you got. And then Cl minus attack this addition to get this. Now the same reaction, I mean similar reaction in the presence of peroxide, in the presence of peroxide, we know it goes for anti molecular group, right? Because we have free radical reaction happening here. So using Markovnikov Br should come here. So using anti Markovnikov Br should come here. Right? That will be the product. So just by that you can tell, or I can give you the explanation now. This is what you get. Why? Because HBr will be now Br dot and H dot here. That's why it will break. You get Br free radical. So Br free radical is the one which will attack first. Right? And so Br free radical will attack this position because this is the more stable uh, compound. I think you will see this now. And then here H. So it's anti-molecular rule and you have HBr reaction in presence of peroxide. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.